you guys, I'm doing this video blog in English this time. Uh, I have done two video blogs now, one last Friday and one the Friday before. I was thinking to do this like a Friday thing, like a Friday blog every week. And this time I'm doing it in English since my last two have been in Swedish and there were a lot of you who was requesting me doing them in English instead. The reason that I've done it in Swedish is because I guess, I only guess it now, but I guess that I have more Swedish followers than people from uh, other places in the world, even though I know that I have a lot of followers on Instagram and on my blog from all over the world. And this time I'm doing, it in, doing this in English to see if, yeah, if that's something you like, I'm going to continue doing it. Uh, what we're going to do in this video vlog is not sitting here in my bedroom like we're doing now, but we're going to the gym, not to exercise like hard working training, but we're going to do some mobility exercising, uh, focusing on how to be able to go deep down in a squat, because um, I as usually do uh, deep squats as to the grass, and people have been asking me how can you do that? And in this video blog we're going to talk about how you can do that and how to work up your mobility and flexibility in your muscles and joints to do this. When doing a squat we're working mostly with our joints in our hips, our knees and our ankles down our foot. Um, and when it comes to our knees, most of us can do this. We can flex our knee like that. And that's nothing we most people need to work on so we are going to focus on our ankle and our hip and uh, flexibility exercises for mobility that we do for those joints so this these exercises i'm going to show you are exercises you can do every day you can do them every single day to be better on doing deep squats so oh i don't like talking in english okay but let's do this. Let's go to the gym. Okay, so now we're here. Uh, I got to borrow this room from my gym. And what we're going to do in this video is to work so that we can be able to go down the squat. Not like here, but maybe all the way here. To be able to sit like this with a weight on our shoulders. Or like this and do a squat. That's what we're going to do. We're going to start with our feet, so we're going to use a stick, a stick, and we are going to simply roll it underneath our feet to make them soft, or what you call it, and you can do this for, yeah, maybe 30 seconds or so, and then switch and do the same thing on the other one, and you can do this for as long as you feel like you need to do it. Okay, so we're going to do a stretch for our hip. Place your hands in front of you and take one big step forward and let your hip sink down and you can gunga in Swedish a little bit like this, just easy. And then when you have done that for a little while, maybe 30 seconds, press your knee a little bit out, stretching our hip. And we do that on both our legs. To stretch our hip. Another hip exercise we can do is just like this to stretch our hip. And we're moving forward slow and easy. Same another. And we're stretching here. Then we're going to move forward to stretch our ankle. And what we want to do here is we want to have our heel on the floor all the time and we press forward like this to stretch our ankle English yeah. and we're doing that on both our feet you understand the point this. Yeah. okay so what we're going to do now is that we are going to stand like with your feet, yeah, like your hip is, like this. You're going to grab around your toes. Really important to always have your heel in this, on the floor. And you're going to go down as deep as you can. Everyone won't be able to do this, but we're doing this exercise to one day be able to do it. 
like this. And it's important to have your chest up and be upright in position. Like this. To make this harder, you can go on a bench like this. Same thing, grabbing around, and you're going down like this. And important to have your heel on the floor all the way. And everyone won't be able to go all the way, but maybe you can go here. And the goal is to come up here. Okay, so I guess I'm done now. Um, I was a bit nervous doing this in English since, like I said before, that I was a bit nervous to sound unprofessional or anything because I don't know to explain these exercises in English. Uh, but I hope that you understood something about what I was trying to tell you about in this one. And of course there are a lot more exercises that you can do to get better mobility to do a real proper squat deep down. But these were the ones that I thought to show you today. And yeah, I hope that you one day can sit like this. With your heels in. Like this. And chill. <laughs> no, but that was all. Thank you for today. Bye. Nee! <laughs> How do you think that? No, I thought it was. <laughs> I was going to say what I wanted to say. If you like this movie in English, I can continue doing them. So you can please uh, subscribe and comment what you thought about this and if it's something we are going to do more times. And in that case, see you next Friday. And otherwise, I'm talking in Swedish again next one. And yeah, subscribe and maybe thumbs up. Um, and see you next time. Bye!